You ever have those days where you come home from work and you're absolutely exhausted and you realise that you've got four people coming for dinner in about an hour? Well, I find when that hits me, the best thing I can do is to whip together a little roast. So this lovely little roast is going to go into the oven with all those roast vegetables and I'm going to whip up a little cake raioli to go on the side. Such a simple meal, but it tastes really good. I'm seasoning my Silver Fern Farm lamb roast and then I'm going to brown it in a pan and roast it with loads of those lovely vegetables. Mm, that is beautifully browned and what that does is it just adds a whole nother layer of flavour to the meat. It's such a worthwhile thing to do. So into our pan. And all those veggies, cut them up roughly the same size and that way they'll cook evenly. Rosemary goes so well with lamb. Pop another whole piece on top, just so it looks pretty. And then this is my little secret trick. I just do a drizzle of honey, probably about two tablespoons. A little bit of olive oil. I've got my oven at 220 Celsius. So it's a really hot oven. And I'm gonna put it in and the meat will take about, I'll check it after about 25 minutes. And then the veggies can carry on roasting while the meat rests. As simple as that. So if I want my garlic in a really fine paste, I always crush it with a bit of salt. Just use your knife, the flat blade of your knife like that, and work it into a paste. And I'm going to use this to flavour my mayonnaise. This is a garlic lover's aioli. A couple of tablespoons of capers. Some parsley, just to give it a bit of colour. Some mayonnaise. It's always the magic ingredient. Just to finish it, some lemon juice. You know, I probably use lemons more than any other ingredient to flavour things in my cooking. I just love that really clean, fresh, bright flavour they have. Mmm, mmm. A wee bit of salt, pepper. Looks good. So that's had 25 minutes at 220 and the meat is perfect. So I'm going to take it out now and then the veggies can go back in to finish cooking. Now you want to cover your lamb and just leave it to rest. Mm. My veggies are cooked to perfection. That was another 15 minutes. They smell so good and they look so good. So let's pile these onto a platter. Look at our meat now, it's rested properly. You can see it's just cooked to perfection. And you want a really sharp knife and you just want to cut lovely thin slices and I'm cutting it across the grain and that is what also what makes it so tender. Beautiful New Zealand lamb. Sometimes you can just feel that life's too busy to invite people over. But when you see how simple it is to make such a sort of celebratory, festive meal like this, that everybody's going to feel so welcome.